What's that ahead? They hunt people for sport. Not sport. Practice. They're ruthless. Indulging violence weakens the warrior. Yeah. Like too much food or drink. <laughs> like too much food or drink or wop. Sorry, I won't let this go. You said no Tomoe traveled to your dojo oh. to study. <laughs> You're what right. My bad. For My bad. mother belonged to a merchant family in Umugi. She never knew her You father. know who approximated too much WAP? Killing is not learned who? overnight. Victor Hugo. Even for a prodigy. The writer oh. of, um... She was born with a taste for bloodshed. Oh. Not A Tale of Two Cities. The other one. A Tale of Two Kitties? Hell you. <laughs> Alright, guys. Show's over. <laughs> More work. <laughs> you know that really good Garfield movie. No way. Hunt the what people are you of about? like dogs. The way and her allies are too hungry for uh, It's not ours. Oh, not fair enough. No, can you Samurai hear the people saying? Masters himself. Oh. You've devoted your life to mastering the bowl. Excuse me. The bowl. Lame yes. Raw. Not yes, to kill him. Thank you. Now you're splitting Sorry, hairs. I do big yawn before I can say the name of Lame Raw because it's so boring. I'm just kidding, I've never seen it, read it, watched it, done anything, so don't yell at me, please. more than a weapon. And a samurai is more than a killer. Oh, my body. My boy. My body. Uh, we can't win Tomoe back. We have no choice. We have to kill her. I trained her. I share the blame for her actions. I will end this. Okay. You only share the blame if you encouraged her thirst for violence. I made her my student. I should have seen the darkness in her. I you mean, sometimes you can't. And that scares you. Uh, it bothers me. Maybe she didn't always have darkness. Maybe something changed her. We're nearly there. Was well, she the approached by Xehanort? Observe the camp. <laughs> Look for weaknesses. Make a plan of attack. That's right, Hi. Something. Have you or a family never been approached by Xehanort? <laughs> I fucking can't stand you. We will go on I'm Sora time. Kingdom Heart. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I hear them. Definitely a camp for training archers. Ooh. Less ooh. Much less who I saw what they're doing. Nasty. Style archery. A hybrid. Tomoe is teaching them. Training to fight samurai. We will give them more to learn. We take the camp, then find out where she is. The moment you Sorry, attack, I have to take a little sippy of water. Might jinx home. myself by saying this, but I have stopped sniffling as I mean, I need to do a quick sniff right now. But I Good. stopped sniffling nearly as much. I think the medicine's kicking in. Um, that girl. Oh, that's why I'm sleepy. That makes sense. So, a little see, a little story from me um, to you guys, especially while Serge takes care of these baddies. Taking care of business. Business. Um. So. What's good, homie? <laughs> so, um. Definitely. I'm. My body's weird. Well, okay, weirdish. So. I've heard the st the tales of people being like, oh man, like knife the fucks you up, knife is gonna knock you out. And I did, I, or not did, I took knife wood years ago because I was sick. Again, okay, it was like a high or something. It didn't touch me, it didn't shit. However, for some reason, Mucinex just, like, I, I mentioned a couple moments ago, like, man, I'm sleepy. But it's not my usual sleepiness, it's like I really could just, like, close my eyes and knock out right now. It's like, why am I so sleepy? And I just realized, like, oh, I'm also sniffling less because the medicine kicked it. Because mucinex, and mind you, I took the daytime one. They're like, this isn't like a, but Bobby, did you take the green ones? No, no, I took the orange ones, the daytime ones. Both make me so tired. And I know this because it's, it's funny now, she's fine. So before I tell the story, don't freak out. She's totally fine now. But like, not totally fine, but like, she's past this thing. But like, our grandma was here years ago visiting. Um, and she was, um, 
Excuse me, I choked on my own spit. She was complaining of feeling like kind of weak, kind of dizzy. So we like sat her down, checked her, uh, checked her blood pressure. Or I say we. Um, my two cousins who were here, uh, one that was also visiting from out of town, and the other one that lives nearby was just visiting her. And she threw it away. Were hanging out and helping her. And so they. She was like, I'm dizzy, so they sat her down, they checked her pressure, they noticed it was, like, pretty low, so they, like, went ahead and, like, gave her, like, sugar or something, because for some reason in our culture, any time you, like, any, if you ever feel like, if you ever feel like fainting in our culture, you have to have sugar, your sugar is low. my greatest achievement. Um, meanwhile, I am just fucking faded on the couch beside her, because I'd taken daytime Mucinex, and I was so damn out of it, like, couldn't, like, I, I, I obviously was worried, because our grandma wasn't doing well, but I'm just, like, you know, imagine just like this little old lady being taken care of by these two women. And then well, there's me, a goblin, fading, trying to hang on to life for dear right. life. It's on our couch like, oh god, you are a fine I'm warrior. barely here. And of course, like, it escalated. She eventually, like, peaked blood and it got kind of crazy. So at that point, I, like, you. perked up because I think just, like, the adrenaline kicked in. But before then, I just was, like, a sack on the couch. Could not be moved, could not be dealt with. Amazing. It was so bad. <laughs> Which is wild, because again, that's the daytime dose. Yeah, I know. The daytime dose messes me up, and the nighttime one messes me up even harder. So I'm going to sleep really good the next few days, I guess. Apparently. I'm going to be taking that nighttime dose. I'm going to just knock the fuck out. <clears throat> oh, man. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm kind of... I was suggesting earlier that you take the 12-hour dose, not, not the... Well, the 12 hour one is more for like cough, it's cough specific versus the like, um, the six hour or the every four hour one, excuse me. That one has nasal decongestant as well, which is more what I need. Cause I'm not really like, I mean, knock on wood that I don't get to that point, but right now I'm not really coughing. That's not my issue. Like I have zero congestion in my chest or throat or anything. I mean, earlier today, my throat was like, hurting and it felt like you know when you're like if i just like snort hard enough i can get this loogie out sorry if that's gross but the, we're all human come on um that's how i felt now it's like i have nothing in my throat it's just like a teeny tiny bit scratchy but i've been also drinking water which helps uh but the condition is all like in my nose all my nose and like a little bit in my forehead so um it's what you would call a sinus infection but not really because sinus infections you usually can't diagnose until the past like two weeks because like that just means you've got something heavier going on <laughs> deep, deep in your sinuses. But fun fact, if you're younger than, I think, like, two years old, you don't really get sinus infections. We diagnose them all the time, or I should say, like, person that I was learning from diagnosed them as such all the time, specifically so he could give the patient uh, antibiotics because he did feel like they kind of needed them um, to get over the hump. But, like, kids' sinuses aren't open enough to... Taking have, bacteria. Yeah, taking bacteria that just sits there and gathers. Now, they will, when they're a little bit older, when they get a lot of ear infections, they can get sinus infections because, um... That's basically just one big system. Yeah, yeah, because, like, you know, babies are, like, a cesspool for ear infections, or they're a cesspool of bacteria, but then they can get ear infections because they're laying... You could just stop it, cesspool. Well, they, they lay on their backs a lot. And it just lets things kind of drain down and get into, like, ears and all the other areas. Um, so, yeah. But yes, they are just I surprisingly, and this is why I think I'm even more bummed out and sick now out of fucking nowhere. Well, not nowhere. Our dad somehow got it. Um, my classmates, a bunch, were complaining that all of them got sick at least once during the pediatric rotation. I did not get sick. And I saw plenty of sickness. Like, I, I can't even say, like, oh, I didn't see anything. I saw sickness. So, well, sinus infections, sinus infections aren't really contagious, so like, that doesn't count. Same with ear infections. Kind of hard to infect an ear from another ear. Um, but, like, I saw head colds. Uh, I saw the big bad a couple times. I saw the big bad in like a two month old. Such a bummer. They were fine, like, they, they made it, but still. Someday we'll go for a peaceful ride. Yeah, it was kind of bummer town. Yeah. One of well, it was one of those, like, the dad had brought it home. Um, so, everybody got it, and then little baby got it, too. The ghost! Don't kill me! What's going what? on? Take whatever you want. What do you want? I'm not a thief. <gasps> Everyone knows you're attacking caravans. What? The ghost and the demon sensei. 
Sensei Ishikawa? That's a lie. I've heard you myself. Heard us? When? Okay, so someone's Not impersonated y'all. Tearing up the road like starving wolves. Ain't nobody got this drip like me. Right? How can you Ain't even nobody styling and stunting like I do. The demon sensei. Y'all are cute. Yuna's really store, getting right? all that branding for y'all. But I Yuna, girl, you need something too. I don't think that was Yuna. I, I know, I'm being silly. But she gets the charming thief. <laughs> Masako's mom. The I always... wail La Llorona. <laughs> Just the wailing mother. Stop. That is kind of what she's dealing with. We didn't finish her stuff, right? She's still got, like, another quest we need. Yeah, I think she has one more that isn't available yet. Yeah, that's right. It's in the just, next like, continent. She's just, at the top of the continent. Or, or the top of the island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Alright, Unk. Unk, Unk. Damn, I thought I would be able to... Shot up to For some that. reason, you saying Unk made me think of Fresh Prince of Bel Air, and somebody was watching it in the hospital. That's the thing I like, miss about. <laughs> it's just silly, but when I worked as a uh, tech slash CNA at the hospital, and I had to sit with patients, with That's psych like patients, um, um, and some of them were like, some would be particular about what to do. When I watch others, would just like, take some time to get matter, and like. I got to see a good amount of Fresh Prince when I was over there. I also watched a lot of Friends. Uh, and, um... Oh, it's not Seinfeld. Or maybe it is Seinfeld. The one... Which one has Rosalind? And they can call it Roz? Oh, or no, which one has the short guy with glasses? How about that? About time you showed up. Is that one Fraser? That one is Seinfeld. Okay, then Seinfeld. Fraser's the one with the psychologist who has a radio show. Okay, then no, I don't. I I've never seen Seinfeld. I've only seen. Or I'm sorry, I've never seen Fraser. I've only seen Seinfeld. Ghost. There we go. What happened here? His caravan was ambushed. Lots of attacks lately. People say you're stealing supplies. It's or us. sided with the Mongols. Rest easy. I'll discuss this with Lord Sakai. Thank you. I'm right here. You could just talk about it. Tomoe is behind this. She sows paranoia and fear. Attacking caravans, blaming us. I called up to his group too late. Saved him, but not the others. Where was he ambushed? Close. Why? Find the ambush site. Track the rest of Tomoe's group to their camp. Ishikawa, you're not that the smartest sense. cookie, aren't you? Not That's always. Wrong. Nothing. Now when it comes to Thomas, we'll yeah, that's what it is. He's just genuinely kind of out of it because he keeps trying to track her. Eat the food I gave you, and wait a while Eat before the food. You leave. Thank you, Sensei. Sorry. Show me where, where did that come from? What am I thinking of? What reference Napoleon is that? Napoleon Dynamite. Oh yeah, that's right. Oop. What? You Mario? On, I you Mario? I really did just on oh, your horse. How did you find me? Someone heard a convoy I being heard, chased. I followed the sounds of violence. <laughs> How did you find me? The you, wind you know, and the tracker I've put in your run. neck. I followed. Oh, I should probably. I heard our mother wake up. I should have Why would Tomoe attack supply runs in Kushi Prefecture? The There's no yeah. strategic importance. And that the boy. No. But Kushi got a temple inspires people. It would be a Mongol effort to break morale here. You don't sound convinced. I think that's part of it. Not all. Tomoe betrayed everything I taught her. Then she betrayed me. Uh, and after me, her home. I'll hunt her past the horizon if I must. Indeed. Sorry, I'm trying to There's the convoy. make sure I tell her everything. Victims of Tomoe. So that she's not like out of it. Fair enough. I thought when you said you were going to let her know, you were going like, to head down real Oh, quick. no, no. I'll just send her a quick message. No if survivors. I was still sniffling a ton Japanese and felt like I needed to clear my nose, arrows? I would go downstairs and do that as well. But, like, I feel fine. So I don't want to waste good, precious moments where my nose and voice doesn't sound too terrible. <laughs> so I gotta just gotta keep on going. Oh. I should examine that last. Yeah. They took off down the road. And we'll find them. It's a warning to the people of Kushi. From Tomoe. From Lord Sakai and Sensei Ishikawa. No travel is permitted on these roads. 
on pain of death. Crude, but effective. All right. This Sorry, y'all. Just like, want to make sure I said that. And okay, and then Chili's be hitting me up. Being like, hey. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. They text me like twice a week. Chili's? I'm over you. That's wild. It's not true. I do, so. I'd still fuck with their buffalo wings. And they're loaded. <laughs> Hurry! Oh, oh, oh no, oh no. That sounded real. Dismount here. Quickly. There's no time to scout the camp. Now who's rushing in with his Hakama half tied? <laughs> Why is she here alone? I'll cut her loose. Not no, I don't yet. Think I will yet. <laughs> Let me get some this... supplies. I don't want to check the map, but I think we stumbled into Trap Town, USA. Possibly. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, hang on. You're about to be like a trap. It's fine. Ooh, that's nice scary. You're hey. going to be all right. Damn, I saw some supplies that I missed like immediately. Oh no! No, please! No! We're here to help. She said. She said. Tomoe? She said what? what did she say? She said I could live until the samurai came. Oh, oh no. yeah. On the ledge! Wait, the supplies! <laughs> no. Oh, okay, I thought that was a dude that was glitching out and then it was her. Ah. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Oh. God damn it. I can survive this by just holding L1. <laughs> I forgot. I'm a dummy. Shoot me! So I can do a big old deflect. Hey, you didn't drop anything. Ow. Damn. Dasha! Dasha! You. Hey. I'm just gonna go ahead and get up on here. Real quick. Oh my, you none. No, no, no. Where are me? Ooh. I was hoping the body would slide. Oh, sorry. The things, the prompt was like survive the ambush, but like you, mm -hmm. you did have to kill them. Yeah. Whoops. Well. Like earlier, it was like distract the Mongols, but it was like actually kill everybody. <laughs> right. That's not distraction. Sakai. Yes, sir. Tomoe set a trap for us, and we walked right into it. I spoke with her two days ago. Excuse me? Tomoe? The captive. Heard her talking about a Japanese woman she saw with the Mongols. I asked her to find out where they were camped and report back. You did what? You involved a civilian, dog. It could have Aww. gone the other way. We'd be standing over Tomoe's body instead. You talk about what it means to be a warrior. How Tomoe undermines that. But you and she are the same. You expect us to be perfect. Your uncle, me, Masako Adachi. But only a child expects perfection of his elders. Yeah, I mean, I will give Ishikawa that. Thought, sensei. But like, you did involve we a civilian, weapons. of course. We all choose between life and death. And you're too comfortable with that power. And if I weren't, I would be dead. And so would you, ghost. Not everyone can be a samurai. But we're all killers. Yeah, that's the other thing too, Jin. You can't be too hypocritical. You're like a samurai that doesn't fire play like a samurai. So like, with. you're yeah. kind of doing the same thing. You're not perfect. But I am also not making others do my work. No, that's fair. Like... Not like... Uh, like, I may be fighting... Or, Jin may be fighting, quote-unquote, dirty. But yeah, but, like, Masako almost killed a monk. 
because she thought he betrayed her, like, without actually listening. And then this guy was just like, all right, I'm gonna get, like, a normal human being to just go and do this thing for me. Huh. Mist and standard arrows have a 25% chance of being recoverable. Cool. Nice. Not that we run out of arrows that often, so. Yeah. But it is handy. <clears throat> Seven of nine. Let's go. No, it's not far off. Cool. You know, we could ride together, Ishikawa. Yeah. Uh, oh. I think he just needs to fire fall off. again. Horse. Where are you, horse? Thank you, horse. Thank you, horse? No. <clears throat> Oh. Uh oh. There we go. No one has to die. <laughs> no one has to fall from a really tall place. Uh, Your horse did not like that. I was like, excuse me? Why? Why though? You're awfully comfortable talking about animal death. Mm -hmm. Yay!